Motivational Monday and it's Vlogmas. How exciting is that? Welcome to Vlogmas, welcome to Motivational Monday. I hope you're doing okay. This video is for you if you're having a slight struggle. Now, by that, I mean if you're at a crossroads in life, sorry, that's my tens machine that's just finished. Um, if you're at a crossroads in life and you don't quite know how to handle the, the going forwards of it, this video is definitely for you. Because our Christmases are never, ever, ever going to be the same again. And why do you think I'm in this room with all of these boxes and whatever's going on? One reason, my son has moved out, as I think you probably know by now. And that means that our Christmases are going to change, okay? So we're not going to have as many people around the table for lunch. We are going to... You know, and what, what, who knows what that might look like in the future for me. And I am going through a little bit of a, what does my future look like? Because you would, wouldn't you? You naturally would, you know? I am going to do a completely, no, maybe I'll make this it. This is the empty nester video that I was talking about making. Um, so everybody's going to feel different about something like this. And everybody's going to have their own thing, their own version of what I'm talking about. But I'm going to tell you a way that you can really, really help yourself to to be more positive about that thing that you feel is is upsetting you. Um, so, yeah, our Christmas, I'm actually wrapping up today. How exciting is that? Look, I'm going to actually make another vlog for you. Um, but how sweet is this paper? Is that so sweet? Um, obviously, there's been massive, massive changes in my life this year um, in... And probably the biggest one is my son moving out. It's not something that you really actually can picture or imagine happening until it happens. Um, so you would have seen us create this room last year. And uh, the idea was that, you know, it's very hard to get on the ladder these days. And uh, there's plenty of space now for all of us to stay here. And that's just how I perceive things would be. I was thinking maybe when they're 30, 35 um, I need to do some touching up with this new building because there's some little cracks in the corner of the room and stuff like that. But you just assume that that's what it's going to be like. And then, you know, Nathan met somebody and fell in love and they're very happy and they're in their own space. And it's amazing. But how do you, how do you, especially at Christmas time, there's always something. I mean, you know, like, like me, a lot of you have lost somebody and, um, I think everybody's lost somebody, haven't they? And I think Christmas is always the time that you think about them. Like I think about my dad. I'm going to tell you a story. So dad used to come round with mum, obviously, for Christmas Day lunch and stay for the day. And I'd make a big thing of it. And uh, that's what I do. I, I, I do like a bit of hosting. And dad used to like um, soup. No, probably tomato. Cream of tomato soup would be dad's preferred starter. And I'd always get a really nice roll. And because you can't get it on Christmas Day, I'd pop it in the oven on a hot, you know, on a hot oven just to crisp it up, make it nice and fluffy inside. And I used to put that down for Dad. And every single time he would say, like, thank you so much. That was really thoughtful. And he'd go, your mother would never do anything like that. Um, and these are the things that you remember. And there's always going to be amazing memories about that person that you may have lost. And there's always going to be, I mean, obviously, you know, I'm specifically talking about empty nesting here. And, and when your child grows up and moves, there's a this is what's difficult about it. Now, everybody's going to feel differently. And you're probably going to feel very differently to me. I have had am having an amazing experience on this earth as a mother and I'm very grateful for it and in case you don't know I went through nine years of infertility treatment to manage to get pregnant I got pregnant lots of times but to manage to have my twins and um, so obviously I'm very grateful of that so this is how I would suggest you try and I'm not saying it's easy and I'm not trying to undermine your feelings at all when my babies were little, I used to think to myself, what if something happened to me? It was a massive fear. It used to, I used to lie awake at night with palpitations. What if something happened to me? And I used to pray, please just let me grow, let, let them grow, let me see them grow up. You know, let me be healthy enough and, and live to a, a long enough age that I see them grow up. So the bittersweet side, of course I miss my son. Of course I do. But... I got what I wanted, which was to see him grow up. 
and I've seen him now become a man and stand on his own two feet and you know Jasmine will do the same if, if something were to happen to me now she could stand on her own two feet and um you got to try and look at the beauty in the sadness so with my dad you know he was only 74 when he died that's I think that's quite young and it was very quick and it was very tragic and there was a lot of things about it that were, made me really sad at the time but you know I knew my dad my twins didn't really know their dad um you know I knew him I got to spend time with him and he was a difficult man at times but equally there are those stories that I've got around the warming up the role that I will remember at Christmas. And even though there'll be an air of, oh, but Dad's not here, you know, I, ha I have had that. So I suppose really it's trying to see the, the good in the something, isn't it? And and I think as, a, as I was saying to Jasmine yesterday, I had, had quite a difficult day yesterday with my, my empty nester. Uh, I can't really talk about it too much because it does make my nose fizz and things like that. But... You know, I sort of said, what does the future look like for me? And that is something obviously none of us can answer. But I will fill my time doing other things. And, um, you know, mum's 82, Harley's 12 and a half. Jasmine will meet somebody and, and fly the nest. But I don't think they'll ever be too far away. But you do fill your time with other things. So when you're a mum, you know... Single mum to twins, obviously I was busy. I was trying to work as well. I took 18 months off, which was, oh my goodness, the most amazing thing and not everyone gets that. But then, you know, going through everything, you put them first and do you know little things like when we did the when we did the house last year, I realised I'd spent, well, we've been in this house 14 years by then and I'd spent 14 years of just doing the top surface of things. I didn't go through cupboards and think, right, throw that out, throw that out or go through old photographs and think that one's blurry. That one's just a, um, a hill and I don't even know where that hill is. You know, I didn't go through all those sorts of things because I didn't have the time. And then last year when we was doing this, the book had gone to print. We was in um, lockdown still. I was like, right, let's get all this stuff done and, and go in that bit deeper. And I think it's the same with your life. You can make it richer when you've got time that you did spend somewhere doing something and then you've, that changes and so you've got something else. And for me, I, well, I don't know. I'm just hoping that, you know, things remain good health-wise so that I can take myself off and do things. But whether I'm indoors, whether I'm outdoors, I will be busying myself with something. I won't just be sitting there thinking, oh, my children have moved out, you know? Um, so I hope that's helped. I hope it does. If you're still listening, um, do me a favour and leave an emoji in the comments, if you can, of a feather. Um, because to me, that symbolises a quill, which is a writing thing. And I want to really feel like I'm a writer right now so you can do that and I know that you've been so precious and, and listened this far in um and yeah you're probably wondering well what the heck is all them boxes well those boxes are again things that have been distributed elsewhere because we haven't had the space before this is a an online business of, of sales things that I'm doing so yeah um I'm going to crack on with that and wrapping up some presents and probably making my next vlogmas video um i hope you enjoy vlogmas if you are please make sure you give the video a thumbs up as you know because we've not traveled for a couple of years now i can't believe it's been two years in january since we went away to mexico it's mad um but this channel has taken a little bit of a hit like a lot of other travel people and so if you are new here and you would subscribe after watching this far in i really appreciate that that would be lovely of you um, but anyway, wishing you a lovely December. Uh, I hope you enjoy Vlogmas and I'll see you in my next video. All right, take care. Bye bye for now.